Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I don't know what it is, but lately I've had a weird fascination with cargo racks. I went ahead and um, bought this one from Amazon. The brand is Max Hall and um, it was pretty affordable compared to the name brand ones and stuff like that. So I decided to give this one a shot, mainly to see if they will fit the OEM crossbars that are on my 18WRX. And these are the flat ones. Not the round ones, obviously. And I actually have an install video on these, which I'll link right here. So if you click there, it'll take you to that video. So Let's go ahead and open this up and then get it assembled and installed onto the car. And there we go. If you guys can see that shine. I was hoping of uh, this kind of shine. It's a little wrinkly. It just makes it look a lot more solid, but like I said, for the price, I can't complain. All right, so out of the box, yours should come with three pieces, front, middle, back, and all the hardware that's included. There we go. Oh, and I guess this is the model number, 70115 for the specific one I got. And don't let all the pieces intimidate you just by looking at it, it's really simple. You just wanna put the three pieces together and literally secure it. The toughest thing with this install is probably getting it on your actual car. So just as a heads up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this install. Okay, so just off of the instructions, the first thing it says to do is to lubricate the inside of each large and small protective gasket. Pretty sure these are the gaskets right here. These little pieces look like doggy bags. So let's go ahead and open them up. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of this on it. It's just some grease that you can get from any parts store. Let's start by putting some lube on the gaskets. And I'm just gonna use my finger here. Man, I feel awkward doing this. And I'm just applying a very light coating to each of them. The smaller gasket goes on the bottom one and the larger gasket goes on the top one. So the top bars are thicker than the bottom bars. So first step is to slide the gaskets in place of the middle rack section. All right, hopefully this is a little better. I was having issues with the camera angle, but, and I decided to lay down some foam so it doesn't scratch it or anything, but here's the front section, middle and the back. After you get the gaskets lubricated, what you want to do is to go ahead and insert them into the middle basket. So we have the top one, which is the larger one, and then the smaller one right here on the bottom. So after you get the gaskets in place, you want to go ahead and insert the front section to the middle section. You might need to force it in just because it's not lined up perfectly. There we go. You wanna make sure that the holes line up so you can insert the screws in there. So next up, we get the screws and washers and we simply join them together. Take the screw, put the gasket over it. You wanna make sure that the holes are aligned right here. And then you screw that in there until it's secure. And you do the same thing for the bottom portion of it. All right, so you wanna do the same thing for the other side. All right, so once you get the front and the middle joined, you wanna do the same thing for the rear. I don't know if it was just mine, but the bottom screws were harder to get in there. These are rubber gaskets, so I screwed it in there until it's flowering out. And I think that's to help prevent water from getting in so after you get everything screwed in, you wanna go ahead and slide the rubber gaskets into place over the screws. I can see why they wanted you to lubricate the inside because these are pretty form-fitted. There we go. And I'm just gonna put it over the middle, just like so. So 
So the rubber gaskets perfectly slid into place, and like I said, I just put put it over the connections until the bolt or the screw is in the middle. And the instructions say to secure the wind deflector, but mine is already installed for me. And I should have opened the garage earlier. It's a lot brighter in here now. All right, next step is to install the brackets onto this, but uh, we're gonna have to measure to see how far the bars are spread out apart so that we get an idea of where to measure it on this thing. So it's actually a couple hours later. I had to take care of a couple things, but after you get your cargo basket installed with the screws and the washers and the gaskets are in place, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and start building your bracket assembly. And I have one right here as an example, as a completed one. So basically this, this piece goes under here and your crossbar is supposed to rest in between this metal and the plastic bracket right here. And these are just the caps that we took off of the gaskets earlier and they just go above this uh, bolt right here just to give it that seal. This is what it looks like completed and there's only like two or three pieces to it so it's not difficult at all. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and get this thing positioned on to the cargo basket. And according to the instructions, the mounting brackets should be set up in the widest position possible towards the outer four corners of the cargo rack. So basically, you want them as far out, as far wide as you can get them, whatever's suitable for your crossbars, so that it can balance the uh, cargo. And this thing has a weight rating of 150 pounds, as well as these OEM crossbars. The weight limit on them is 150 pounds as well, so just subtract whatever this weighs with the total capacity for these and you should get your maximum weight. All right, so here's what mine looked like. Just kind of spaced them out as evenly as I could to the outer bars. Now I think we should put it on the car to see how it looks and then we should tighten it down and that should be it. But yeah, you don't, you don't wanna put these on here and then put it on the car just because it could fall and damage your roof. So we'll do that after we get everything measured. All right, so this is more of a trial and error moment for me. Uh, it looks like the way I had the brackets were too wide for the crossbars. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these brackets on the back, just one up. So from the front, I'm using the first one, first set of bars, and then on the back, I'm gonna go in one. All right, there we go. And so let's try this again. All right, so I like this a lot better. So as you can see, it's kind of hanging out in the back a little more. I prefer it that way, just because this is a sedan. If I had a hatchback, then I'd probably want it a little more flush with the, the gate. But since, again, it's a sedan, I figure if you extend it a little more to the back, it'll look a lot better. It's your preference how you want to mount it. Uh, you know, you can move this bracket one more over this way to have it hanging out the front a little more, but I like it this way, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure it. And I guess I can even it out a little more to the right, but I'll show you how to mount it after I move it just a little more. All right, so you guys are looking at this from the top view. A little hard to work with this thing with the angles. In order to secure this thing, you need to get this U bracket right here, place it above the cargo bars, into these little holes right here. And then take the U-bolt and you insert it under to secure the actual crossbar. And then you wanna take the knobs and tighten it down. And then you obviously wanna make it tight enough so that it doesn't wobble or anything like that. And lastly, you wanna go ahead and take these caps and just stick it in there all the way through 
to keep the water from going in there. All right, so this is what it looks like so far with one bracket securing the cargo rack. There we go. Little bottom view. And it's not fully centered onto the crossbar, but that's okay because I try to get it as close as I could to the center for the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three brackets and then uh, that should complete the install and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, so here we have it. It is now fully installed. All four brackets are in place and this thing is secure and it's not going anywhere. So I had a hard time lining this thing up, but what I learned, so a semi pro tip here, is that if you guys can see these plastic spacers right here on the bottom, they have these little indentations. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five little indentations. And so what I did uh, to make sure that the brackets are lined up perfectly or as close to perfect as I can get it on all four sides is I made sure that they are on the same indentation. So the front one, as an example, is on the third indentation and one, two, three, and it goes the same for the other side. One, two, three. So I made sure to kind of line them up that way and I just use the indentation as a little guide to make sure that I have them on here evenly. And as far as the back one, it's on one, two, almost to the third indentation, and it goes the same for the other side. That's my trick for kind of lining up the brackets. Um, they're obviously not centered fully, but wanted to make sure that both sides are even. So I just wanted to share my final thoughts on this Max Hall steel cargo roof rack or cargo basket, whatever you want to call it. For the price, you cannot beat it. It looks great. It's a lot sleeker than I thought it would be. And installation was a breeze. Just love the way it looks on the car and it complements it very well. A couple things that I would personally change. So if I forgot to mention, this wind fairing is actually uh, metal, which is good. I thought it was plastic. But one thing I would have changed is I would have extended it all the way through the edges. Uh, you know, just for aesthetic purposes, I think it would look a lot better than cutting it off right here. And also, the brackets that they use, I mean, these are pretty universal. I've seen this style bracket on different cargo racks and stuff like that. I just, I'm not a big fan of them just because they only give you that little point of contact and it's literally just a little line securing your cargo on top. So one of the benefits of the more expensive cargo racks that I've seen, you know, like the Thule ones and the Yakima ones is that the brackets they use are a little wider and they look a lot better than these U-bolts. But again, for the price, I don't really have any room to complain. The other ones are at least triple, if not quadruple, the price of this Max Hall cargo rack. So for that price, it looks great and it's good enough. I mean, again, it's not wobbling, so can't complain. I like it. And no, this video is not sponsored or anything by Max Hall. I just, I saw the low price, so I decided to give it a shot. Yeah, so um, installation is complete. Gave you my final thoughts. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. If you made it this far throughout the video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.